Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to show the filtered results from Search and Filter Pro on the same page. What the standard functionality of Search and, Pro, uh, Search and Filter Pro does is when you select um, uh, one of these filters, say blue, it will direct you to a new page, which in some cases can be a good idea. But I know, and I've also seen many questions arise, but how do I show the results here in this page without reloading? Um, it's taken me a while to figure it out, but I've found a solution. I'll be um, showing you how to do this. There's a free plugin that you can download. We'll just go here. And it's called PostGrid. So download this, PostGrid, and then once you've done that, we'll start, I'll show you how to do it. Okay. So we've got the PostGrid here installed. We'll go to PostGrid. We'll create a new grid. We'll call it Cars Filter. Um, we can select the query post, post and we'll select car. This is our CPT UI, our custom post template that we added here. Um, there are many other things that we can change, uh, such as the layout and the settings and the navigation, but for the moment, we'll just leave it as is. Hit publish, and you'll see here the post grid ID is 158. Now, from there, you have to go to the search and filter one we already created and we have to make some configurations the first thing that you have to do is go to display results and the default is uh, display results as an archive and that's actually what it's doing right now it's directing you to the archive page i would like you to select custom and the first thing it asks here is the results url because I want the results uh, presented on the same page here, you can see that uh, my URL is all cars filter. So just go back. I took the URL, the full URL, and here it is, all cars filter. Okay. Now, when you go to the next one, the Ajax container, then you would have to add the post ID let me just go back. I'm sorry that I'm going all around, but this is the way to do it. Um, I go to the post grid, and the ID is here, 158. So I go back, and the ID is what you have to put here. So hashtag post minus grid minus 158 or whatever the 158 is whatever your short code is so once i've done that i'll click update now i've done all the settings so what i'll do now is go to the page and replace this so this is the standard text widget or edit post uh, the post widget from elementor but i'll remove this and I'll drag and drop the text editor. Now, I, I had to figure this code out myself, so let me just take it here and copy and paste. I can do it in text, that's better. So the search and filter is 118, which that's the ID, right? You see that here, search and filter 118. So that's okay, so I want that filter to be shown. Um, and the post grid ID, uh, the one I used before for my own demo was 1448, but in this case it's 158. And I'll show you again how to find that one out. That's here, 158. Post grid ID, 158. I click update. Now I'll just open a new browser just to uh, make it much more easier to see. This is the old uh, situation, this is a new one. The grid doesn't look that great, but fine. 
uh, we can modify it. If I select blue, the results now appear in the same page. This is uh, the, the easiest way I've found how to show the results in the same page. Um, if you have any other solutions, which are much easier maybe, just let us know.